All right, here is the final demo for the Logitech Harmony remote software. Everyone has been asking me for this video, and here it is. This video is basically going to showcase on how to set up the remote, basically, and how to program the lighting. Lighting is what most people are questioning about, so I'm going to briefly discuss what the software does and then hop right into the lighting. There's the Activities tab, Devices tab, Remote Settings tab. Uh, activities tab is basically for your general activities, and this is what most people buy this remote for. The Devices tab is the back end of the remote, setting up each individual device so you can use the activities, and then all the standard remote settings. Up here are downloads, preferences, and other various functions along with updating the remote. Under the devices, you should read your manual. I'm not going to touch base on this too much, but here is where you need to really make sure everything is set up right. If this isn't set up right, then the activities will not work correctly. You have to go through and make sure every device, like your TV, your DVD player, your cable box, is all set up correctly with all the buttons that you want. and if that's done right, then you can move on to your activities. A lot of people don't realize that if you don't have all your devices in here, you can't make the activity correctly. One important note is, is that people who want to add lighting, which is the big, big plus for this remote, you have to make sure this is set up correctly too. Now as you can see, there's icons underneath this uh, 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 icon here. And there are many icons which show what activities that this device is currently in use for. So I have a I have many different um, devices in here, which I'm going to show you. Um, okay. Here are my activities. And you can see I still have a pretty decent sized library of activities here. Um, I'm actually going to delete this one here because that was actually a test. Okay. Now, in the activities, it does the opposite. It shows you what devices are in use for the activi activity. When you're under devices, it shows you what uh, device, what activity is being used for this. So if I go down to my lighting, I only really have two devices, watch it Blu-ray and watch a DVD. And when I go under settings, I can basically customize the buttons, which is very helpful when you go under the devices. You want to basically have all the buttons that you use a lot right there. And you can also adjust the delays because each piece of equipment in your home theater might have a different delay on how it turns on. So one device may turn on much quicker than another device. And if your lighting is slow, or your device is slower than your lighting, you want to basically increase that or delay it. And I found out that 500 milliseconds is a pretty good number for most uh, electronic equipment. Now, if you notice that the lights aren't coming on because the TV's it's sending out a command for a TV, that's when you want to start using the delays and mess around with that. You can also rename it, which is helpful because you need to find out, you, you need to remember what the thing is called. And there's just other uh, things. There's advanced setup for this device as well. Basically setting up your X10 wireless IR543, which is the one I recommend on buying. You can basically say, I want to leave this device on all the time. I want to turn this device off when it's not in use or there are no buttons on my current remote for my X10 wireless. Basically, I like to customize it. I don't want the remote telling me just turn it off, turn it on, whatever. And that's why I go to the activities. And I basically set up the activity that I want. So here's my Sony PlayStation 3, along with my TV, and my Onkyo receiver, and my wireless lighting. So when I want to watch a Blu-ray, this will automatically turn my lights off and on. And it's very simple because I just tell the the box, I tell the remote to send out a command saying all lights off and then when I'm done watching the Blu-ray I say all lights on. Now just in case, not every situation, I don't want the lights to come on, I made a duplicate activity 
without the lighting command. So this one has a lighting command, this one does not. This way I can choose whether or not I want to have the lights off or I don't want them on without going into another device menu on the remote. So when I go into the lighting activity for this Blu-ray activity, I can review my settings. And this is after I've set it up. Here's my device down here for X10 Wireless. I told it when basically when I turn on my equipment, I want to basically send this command out and I want to say all lights off. When I turn everything off and I'm leaving the activity, I basically want to send out a command saying all lights on. Now, if you're unsure on how to do this, I'm going to walk through on how to actually do this. Because I think some people are not t uh, understanding exactly when to add this. So I'm going to add an activity, and I'm going to hit no, manually add an activity on to my setup. I'm going to say I want to watch a DVD, what most people have. And I'm going to use my DVD player. And this is based on the devices. This is the activity we're setting up. Now, what device do you want to use to play this DVD? Well, I would like to use my Sony DVD changer. And how do I want to display the video? I want to use my Samsung HDTV. And I want to use my Onkyo AV receiver to control the volume. And now it's asking me what input does this TV need to be put on? And my DVD player is on component. And it recommends that your Onkyo receiver should be placed on DVD. Now if you have a lot of if you have a secondary DVD player or, you know, a lot of other equipment, you can change any of these at any time. You can say VCR, cable box, it really doesn't matter. But DVD is what most people would use because that's the input that you plugged it in on the receiver. Now, before you click next, you have to say, yes, I want to add more control options and devices for this activity because you want to add the lighting activity. If you don't do this, you can't add lighting. Click Next, and now it's basically asking you, currently this activity uses the following. These below are the ones that are not in use. You want to find the wireless X10 lighting. When you click Add, it'll place that right in the list up here. Now you can hit Save. When you hit save, it'll repeat the process of setting up this activity and just go through it and hit next. Just make sure it's all set up correctly because it needs to get you to this screen. This screen is where you basically tell the remote, when you turn on all this equipment, I want you to turn off the lights for me. Add an action for, you want to add the action for X10 Wireless. The reason you're doing this is because it's not in the list up here. You want to see this in this list. So let's click this and hit add. Now it's saying, what do you want it to do when we get to this command? Well, you can send the infrared command to all lights on or all lights off. Or you can dim them by 10%. Or you can tell them, oh, well, turn this particular light off and on. If you do decide to only want, you only want one light on, it gets a little tricky because then you're going to have to make several IR, com um, IR commands basically here you're gonna have to make a billion of these right here so like one would be like okay well hit light one hit off hit light two hit off this is why to keep it simple I just hit X10 wireless lighting and I just send the command of all lights off it's just simpler keeps it more streamlined and now it's there. Now, before hitting save, you want to basically tell the remote, when I'm done watching a DVD, I want my lights on. So you have to do the same down here. So up here is when you're going to watch the DVD. Down here is when you're done watching it. So basically, these turns off, turns on all the pro all your devices. 
and turns off your lights when you want to watch a movie, this down here will automatically turn off everything and vamp your lights back on. Just hit add and you want to send the all lights on command. Hit next. Review your selections that you have here. You have all lights off and all lights on. Then hit save. Then hit yes, these settings are correct and done. You successfully just set up your lighting for your remote on your activity. Now if that does not work, my recommendation is that it's nothing to do with the programming that you did, it has everything to do with your electric. If the electrical line is not technically connected in a way or it's on a separate, separate line and it has, it's like basically separate behind the walls and it doesn't make a con uh, join connection somewhere, the X10 device IR543 can't send that signal if it can't reach the box on another outlet. So you might want to consult with a electrician to make sure the wiring in your house is done right. If you live in a m more modern home, you shouldn't have an issue with this, but for people who live in a much older home or have had electric work done, you may want to look into that because that may be your issue. It may not be the programming. It may be everything to do with the wiring in your walls. But that gives you a brief overview on how to program this remote. And if you have any questions, please comment, leave me a message, and I'll be sure to get back to you. Thank you.